Hey there. Um, I thought we'd do something fun today. So eBay has a brand new listing tool that I know nothing about. I've read nothing on it. I haven't clicked on it. I haven't opened it. I know nothing about it. So I thought it'd be fun to do a blind react here. See what has changed? What are they doing? Is this going to make it easier? Is it going to make it harder? Let's find out. We all know that one of the things that people complain about with eBay is that it's difficult to list. And not that it's overly difficult, but just that there's so many different components, it takes a while. So did they fix that? I don't know. Let's find out. So I have this super cute little pair of Tiva little boy sandals um, to list today. So they're the Voya Infinity. It says on here they're size 11. Should be a pretty easy, yes, size 11. Pretty easy list. But let's see what the new listing tool looks like. So let's come over here and grab this. Now this is how, this is the old listing tool. You'll see. Um, this is how I would normally list. So normally I would open up five of these cells similar. I've taken this from a listing that I already sold on eBay. I type in my title, change my category, change my store, ca store category, drop in my UPC. There are clearly no tags. Let it populate all my kind of specifics. Just do the required ones here. Do anything that is super easy here. Copy and paste my title, price, and then shipping and be done. So that is how I would normally list. Oh, clearly adding the correct pictures because these aren't Rebox. But let's see what happens when I click here. Now I have not done this before, so I have no idea what is coming here. So try out the listing tool until you can switch back at any time, which is good to know because if I hate it, you know we're going back. So let's see, redirecting. First, we went on eBay because, you know, hmm. oh, welcome to the new listing experience. I can add videos. I'm not sure why I would want videos of black sandals, but, you know, like if you had a toy that did something, a light that turned on and off. Okay, okay. Upload photos directly from your mobile device. Couldn't I do that before? But, I mean, okay. Optimize your photos with the new editing features such as image cleanup. Okay, fantastic. Oh, well, this is, wow, they moved everything around. Okay, okay. That's gonna take a little getting used to if you're like me, you, you have a system. And so you know right where everything is and you, yeah. Wow, all right. So I wanna delete all of this. I'm not gonna import from mobile. I'm not even sure how we would do that. Um, import, no, let's click add photos. Okay, my photos are in here, my pictures. Oh, there's all my vacation photos, yay. These are the items I was listing earlier. So let's grab the five little, look how cute my little girl was. Now she's all grown up. All right, goes pretty fast. That's not, not bad at all. Now let's see, it told me that I could edit this. Ooh, let's see what happens. Frame your item. Okay, if you've done this before, you know that it liked to um, delete portions. So let's see what happens. If we actually, okay, refine with brush and pen. Let's, oh, no. No, 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 eBay, go back, go back, go back. Let's hope there's an undo, because what? No, what's, what's an eraser? Oh, okay, so I could erase part of these gross little shadows, but it's not very defined. So you're gonna have to be way better with that eraser than I am, but I mean, I guess that looks a little bit better, maybe. Uh, no, 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 just no, no. The background remover, 
still not the best. So let's just cancel. Yeah, because that didn't work. What is this? Okay, that does nothing for me. I can still crop it. Okay, that's fantastic. I could do that before though. This is my normal, just edit the, all right, well, I mean, I guess it's a little bit brighter. Maybe it's a little bit easier because it pops up and I can see it bigger. I mean, I guess, I guess that's good. All right, so let's type in the title here. New Tiva 11 toddler sandals, getting all of my keywords that I want at the beginning there, black, white, little kid. And what did we say they were? They are the Voya Infinity. Oh. Voya Infinity. Infinity, and they have a retail price of $36. So we're going to add that in here. All right. It does still tell me here how many I have. What is edit all options? Ah, so this is where you would get your custom label SKU. So you're going to have to click here if you're using that custom label SKU for every single one of them. I mean, that's fun, but I don't use that. So, um, okay. Now, this is not my category. So let's, oh, and I wanted boys' shoes. So here we go looking, kids, boys. I guess it was babies, wasn't it? Because I want toddler baby shoes, I guess. Yeah, we'll see what happens there. All right, this is my store category. Those are all my stores. Edit all options. What are my options here? Okay, this is where you're gonna have your store category, second categories, all of that. Item specific. Um, eBay, where did all of my things, and let's enter the UPC and see if it'll give me any. One, nine, two, four, one, two. Nothing, done. So all of my pre-fill ones where I was able to just click, yes, add them all, Th those are gone. So um, that's, that's, you know, fabulous, fabulous. So I'm gonna have to type that in. They are black, boys. Do I have sandal? No. No. Is fisherman a type of baby shoe? I don't think so. We're just gonna type in sandals. And we're just gonna add it. Casual. I have no idea what size it'll if it's no, it's gotta be this. Upper material required. I love this because on shoes, like what is this? I don't know. This is elastic. I don't know what this is, eBay. It's nylon. We're going to call it nylon because best guess. Okay. So gone are all of my autofills. Not loving that. Not loving that at all. All right. So these are uh, new with box even because they have the original. No, they never came in a box. All right. What is this fancy little custom template? Oh, so we can create templates here. That would be useful if, you know, you were doing like a lot of clothing and you wanted to save a template for your measurements and that sort of thing. You could create templates um, as a shortcut. No, I don't need to see more options. Pricing, all right. These are gonna go on sale. So what are my options over here? Okay, so this is where my option is, allow offers and my quantity. Well, I don't love that I have to click there to, this seems like a lot more clicks that I'm not, 
and not loving. Um, all right, I definitely want flat shipping. I always do flat shipping, but I don't want priority mail. So let's see, can we figure out how to get it off of priority mail? Mm -mm. Well, that's, oh, here we go, but I don't, oh boy. Um, have I ever mentioned I'm not a person that likes change a whole lot? So yeah, okay, first class is, is just not here anymore. So let's just do economy, but I don't want buyer pays $9. That's First class, not that, did y'all see it? Did I miss it? Parcel, economy, economy, priority. I, I'm not seeing a first class option. So that's fun, that's fun. Global shipping program, fine. Manage payments, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh no, not a 4% ad rate, no, 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 no. Let's take that down to two. And so I can save it for later or I can list it. Where was the option to schedule it? Did anybody see that? Because I didn't see that. I schedule all my listings instead of just saving them for later because a lot of times if you save them in drafts, eBay likes to eat drafts. Like they're just gone. I know too many people who had lots and lots of listings in their drafts and then they went kaplooey. And a lot of times I am listing way early, way early, early, early in the morning. And I don't want it to go live right then, but I won't be around in the afternoon to list it. So maybe it pops up then. Let's just see. No, no. All right. Well, um, yeah, I didn't see an option to schedule things. That's that has me a little hmm, don't love that. I'm assuming you would have to save it for later, then go in and edit that and create it scheduled from there. Don't love that. Don't love no first class. Um I'm sure I will get used to the, the differences in the way things are set up, like you do your pictures first. I'm sure that will get easier. Do like the fact that I can edit when I edit, that gets a little bit bigger and a little bit clearer. But um, did it make listing easier? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Because all of my auto-populate item specifics Unless I missed it, tell me in the comments if I missed it. Because I'm not seeing it. In, uh, I don't love it. Sorry, I don't love it though. What do you guys think? Has anybody tried it? What do you think? Good, bad? What do we think? Let me know. 